<laughs> that was Thor's was thing. Thor this drink, I like it. Another! <laughs> That's the Thor's thing. <laughs> Good little... Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Thomas and Beth here with Moto Photo, and we are here with the next episode of Loki, episode three, and it's titled Lamentus. Definitely looking forward to this episode because there was a big, big bomb, literal bomb dropped uh, at the end of episode two, and a couple of things, number one being the alternate variant of Loki, and that was Lady Loki, we'll just call her for... The, the time being, uh, Lady Loki, and uh, uh, she made her reveal, had some real devious, dark plans, obviously, up her sleeve um, that uh, that kind of made her seem like she might be the superior Loki, and the Loki we Duh, know is not. because it's a female. <laughs> so I wonder if Lady Loki created the bombs to create the branches because... When the time people came, maybe they destroyed her timeline. Maybe she somehow escaped her multiverse and when she was just trying to save it. So, because how are there two Lokis? That's a good explanation. Yeah, but, and then we saw in the other one that there are a bunch of different versions of Loki. We saw That's like, true. we saw like Cenotar, <laughs> Cenotar Loki or Minotaur Loki and, and all kinds of different versions of him yeah. from alternate universes and and whatnot but but that, how are there alternate universes that, if there's one timeline that that brings up a interesting point though is because you know we're talking about not just time now we're also talking about the multiverse and how that gets affected and like you said um the the people who control the tva you know with the multiverse and you know how come the tva gets to be the ones who deem you know what is canon in the timeline um you know and does that mean that they take other realities out or take other timelines out completely or you know uh so it, it's it's gonna i think it's gonna unfold to an kind of interesting you know who's good who's bad kind of thing you know because we kind of been led to believe that the tva is this all you know all all good all not bad but obviously they do some bad because they go and they take out and kill all these people um, so it's maybe a little bit of both, um, or maybe they're the hidden bad guys. So. You have to wonder how long have they been around? It said since the beginning of time, right? But yeah. it, it just, there seems like there's so much more to them than what they've let us know so far. Like you said, are they, are they really good? Is what they do good? Yeah. And, and Mobius kind of brought up last, uh, episode was that, you know, time moves differently and that, you know, he's only ever known being at the TVA um you know so I I don't know exactly how that works but I guess he was born there and has always created. lived there yeah created in the TVA um and and uh, like outside of yeah outside of the timeline uh so I'm curious to see kind of what what he brings back in I think his character is really awesome and interesting and we started to see a little bit of Loki getting through to him to you know saying like you know what's your purpose you know because it's all been on focus on Loki but he's saying what's your purpose you know he wants to go ride a jet ski why don't you go ride that jet ski you know what's stopping him from you know living a normal life what we refer to as a normal life so then the episode ended with Loki going through the portal yeah yeah, Loki going so through the portal. So he followed Lady Loki. Kind of have to wonder why. Is he trying to stop her or does he want to know her plan? Is he, what's his motive in following? Did he just want to escape? You know, uh, he has no way of going back. He doesn't have any of those little devices. Yeah, yeah. He's maybe, just a variant now. Yeah, maybe she does. Maybe she doesn't because she used all the, all of those devices to send bombs across the timeline. People said it, it, it was potentially 30 or 40 bombs. Um, it, when, when you look at the, um, there's like an overview of all the bombs that get dropped. Uh, uh, there's a ton of lights there. Some of the ones that I saw, cause you know, I do a little bit of digging from episode to episode. I don't dig super into it, but, uh, some of the pictures I saw, you know, had references of places that were bombed, like, um, Asgard was bombed, um, Ego, which was from Guardians of the Galaxy, um, some places in the USA, uh, so there, there were all kinds of important timeline events um, that were potentially bombed throughout different um, periods of time. 
Uh, so it's going to be really interesting to see uh, how thickens. all of those tie in and to see what's what's kind of the uh, the purpose of what she did other than, you know, I, I, breaking the timeline. I think she has, Lady Loki has, you know, some more purpose behind what she did and some hidden meaning. What uh, ripples did she create as well? You know, mm-hmm. it's, let's find out. All right, so here we go. This is episode three of Loki, and if you haven't already, go ahead, click that subscribe button. Much appreciated, and let's dig in. We could do potato skins or buffalo fingers. Or we could eat somewhere else. (laughs) Why do you hate this place? I don't hate it, I fear it. Do you know how many times the health department has closed this place down? Well, the drinks seem fine. Try it. Whatever you're thinking about will get frozen in place. Okay, ask. How many people are guarding the timekeepers? Sorry, what? <gasps> oh, that's who that is. That's the girl she abducted. Mm. Oh my God, that was devious. And then she distracted her by changing the surroundings. She's like in her mind. And then they show up. Oh. Very devious. Loki okay. doesn't have that power. So she's got like some mind like control said, tricks. Has, yeah, she has powers he doesn't have. Yeah. Oh yeah. You have to wonder about the other versions if they had or, powers too. Or I think he does have some of those powers. He chooses not to use them. I think. I think, Let me know. I know. I know. I know that there are powers that he chooses not to use. Oh. <gasps> oh, she's at the TVA. Hair going up. She's serious. Oh, there's no magic there. She didn't notice. She thought it'd be easy. Damn. Look at her face. She's pissed. Not where he wanted to end up. (laughs) (laughs) Back at the TVA. Damn it. (laughs) Not what I wanted. Oh, he's going to get his daggers. Yes. Yes, sir. He looks she's, like he wants to stop her. She's going after someone specific. She's going after the time variants. I thought perhaps we could work together. <laughs> Where'd they go? Where does daggers go? Oh. oh, you won't. Either way, that's how I get to be the timekeepers. Oh, nice. <laughs> he ruined her plans. She's pissed. Nice. He's got his powers back. Apocalyptic. Lamentus, so that's the name of the title. Oh, that's wicked. That's cool looking. Of all of the apocalypse saved on that ten pad, this is the worst. No one makes it off here. Watch out! No one makes it off. Damn. I'm sorry, madam. I don't know where you hid that ten pad, but if you blow up, it blows up, and then I end up blown up. There! So we're a team now? Oh god no! What's she say? God no. Slow down. Variant. Don't call me variant. I'm sorry about not calling some faded photocopy of me, Loki. Good, because that's not who I am anymore. I'm Sylvie now. Yep, Sylvie. So Sylvie is apparently in line with the comics. She's like a character that's been in the comics and is a Lady Loki, quote unquote. Your years in the making plan was to tear the place down, create the ultimate power vacuum, and then just walk away. I'd never have done that. Yeah? Well, I'm not you. It's like her plan's done and she's done now. He's like, what, what, what's the next step? There's always a next step for him. Well, she hasn't finished her plan. Hmm. <laughs> it's remarkable that you ever made it as far as you did. <laughs> Sorry about that. Don't be. I enjoyed it. Oh, I did too. But I can treat. He's gonna get shot too. 
It's been a long time. You're as beautiful as I remember. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing at her now, too. Train station is the edge of town. But you'll never get a ticket. Oh, get a ticket. Oh, jeez. People are having to get tickets to get off a dying planet. That's crazy. Oh. He got looked up and down. Why didn't he cover his face? I don't know. Orders come from the top to get her on this train. Sir, this... Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, I just remembered that headquarters radioed in the request for them this morning. Okay. Ah, teamwork. Look at them working together. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? Cute. <laughs> Good evening, passengers. Oh, jeez, look at that. So much um, space. You sure she was your mother? Uh, no, she's not, actually. I was adopted. Is that a bit of a spoiler for you? Sorry about that. Huh? No, I knew I was adopted. What? They told you? Yeah. Tell, tell me about your mother. I barely remember her. Just blips of a dream at this point. Hmm, interesting. Very different paths. It's not surprising, though. Lamentous is a good title. They're kind of almost lamenting about their pasts. Appropriate. Remember that. What was that? Love is... Love is hate. Oh, piss off. Ha ha! Ha ha! I have more in common than they didn't think. Love is mischief, then. Hmm. <laughs> As guardian. <laughs> it's too late now, don't matter. As guardian songs. <laughs> that was the worst thing. Was the word in. This drink, I like it. Hey. Another! <laughs> That's the worst thing. <laughs> Good little... Love is a dagger. It's a weapon. You can see yourself in it. It's beautiful until it makes you bleed. But ultimately, when you reach for it... Damn. It isn't real. It's a dark analogy. She's like, She's oh happy. yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> what was that? Nice. Oh, he gone. No. What? He left his dagger. Sad day. Cool. <laughs> She's not angry. <laughs> I think this is one of the shots from the original preview trailer for this. People were speculating that she was Natasha on Vormir. Hmm. So what if we hijack the Ark and make sure it gets off this moon? I mean, sounds like a good idea to me. <laughs> That's a first. That young soldier from the TVA had to pull a memory from hundreds of years prior before she even fought for them. What? What did you say? Before she joined the TVA? Yeah. So she they're was not just a regular person on Earth. A regular person? Love margaritas. They're all variants, just like us. They don't know that. They don't know that. Oh, wow. So the time variants are not good people, most likely. Yep. And they're, they're trying to solidify a timeline that shouldn't be. Or that's sketchy. Oh, very cool aesthetics. Oh, I love it. Oh, man. I'm a sucker for, like, cyber cityscapes. Very cyberpunk. Quit looking around, man.
Oh. Oh, damn. That's super cool. Oh. Ouch. Hate when that happens. Oh, damn. Nice. Did he do that? Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, is that. Oh, it just got blown up. Dang. How the hell are they getting out of that? She just walked away. Oh no, that's how they <laughs> No! Whoa, oh god. Um, I think the TVA is going to save him. I think Owen Wilson... Mobius? Mobius is going to find him because it's a destructing planet and that's a black... Like one of those... Places that he said that you could hide. Yeah, and so he might... So he, he might pick it up. Yeah, he might be looking for them now in places where there's imminent, imminent destruction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's a good that's a good thought. That's a good that's, that's a good I idea. I, I think I think something like that's gonna happen. I think Mobius is gonna pop back in for sure. It's cool to hear that she has some insight on the TVA agents. Uh, and that they aren't just created right there in they're the TVA. They're not from the Matrix. So yeah, yeah, they're not just picked and grabbed uh, out of a uh, out of some space magic. Um, they're actual people who are variants, I guess, and they are becoming agents and working. They for, become brainwashed. Yeah, yeah, I guess, and maybe maybe that has to do with maybe that kind of has to do with um, some of the. Uh, some of the things she was talking about with like, you know, people who have stronger, stronger minds versus weaker minds. And maybe that's why Loki wasn't easily yeah, swayed. Yeah. Easily swayed there or something. I don't know. It's, it's interesting. It's very interesting how, how that's going to play out with three episodes left. Seven more days. There it is. Yeah. So these, these episodes have picked up very fast. Episode one was a really, really informative. But really slow. Episode two and and, good. and three have been. This have been one had cool. moments where it was like kind of dull, kind of filler, learning stuff, which was fine. Filler, you thought you tying into the emotions, the emotions of of Lady Loki and Loki or Sylvie and Loki. You know, it's all, that's 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 kind of what I think. That's what this whole series is yeah. really about: is kind of seeing a, a a more emotional arc from loki you know or a different one so i'm excited to see where this one goes so thanks again everybody Seven and days. yeah and we'll uh we'll see you then for episode four uh until then we are moto photo you have a good one bye